Thank you, Chairman Corker uh, and Ranking Member Menendez and distinguished members of the committee all. It is an honor to be here today in support of my Kansas friend and colleague, Mike Pompeo, as the President's nominee for Secretary of State. For more than a decade, I have known Mike first as a friend and a business leader, then a congressional colleague, and most recently as the leader of our intelligence community. At home, Kansas knows Mike as a family man, a devoted husband to Susan and father to Nick, both of whom are here. I know how proud that you are. They know him as a man of integrity <clears throat> and honesty, of hard work and perseverance. Mm -hmm. He built a successful business, understood the responsibility of maintaining a payroll, and helped to bring job growth and prosperity to Wichita, Kansas. They know him to have Kansas common sense and to be plain spoken, to tell it like it is. Senator Dole and I might share just a little bit of that too. They know him as a statesman, a man who listens to others, who works well with people, and who can negotiate solutions in a very effective manner. Given these qualities, I believe that Mike Pompeo's next challenge in this troubled and tumultuous world is perhaps a challenge for which he is best suited. As our nation's most senior diplomat, Mike will be forthright, he will be forceful, he will be thoughtful. He will give the President and those of us in Congress candid counsel. He will be a man of his word. It's in his DNA. Just look at his bio. Mike is Army strong. He graduated at the top of his class at West Point and then served as a cavalry officer patrolling the Iron Curtain before the fall of the Berlin Wall. He later joined the 2nd Squadron, 7th Cavalry, and the 4th Infantry Division. After completing his military service, Mike attended Harvard Law School where he was an editor of the Harvard Law Review. Mike understands, he understands the law. After practicing law, Mike returned to his mother's roots in South Central Kansas, running several very successful, pardon me, very successful businesses in Wichita before running for Congress in 2010. He came to Washington with a very strong desire to serve the people of the 4th District and the rest of our state and to make a difference. He sought a seat on the House Intelligence Committee at a time when intelligence gathering methods were under fire before he went on to lead the Central Intelligence Agency. As I told my good friend and chairman, Richard Burr, and my colleagues on the Intelligence Committee just last year, Mike Pompeo understands and respects the role of Congress and the need for vigorous oversight. I say to those who serve our country here and in Washington and at diplomatic posts around the world, Mike Pompeo will work hard to earn your trust. He will seek to build bridges, to rely upon expertise, to debate and discuss, but always always with respect. Whether it's managing crises in Syria or North Korea, complex relationships with Russia or China, or humanitarian disasters in Myanmar or Yemen, Mike will represent American ideals and values backed by the strength of leadership of the free world. History has shown us time and again that we cannot sit back and wait given the most serious challenges we face in the world and the role that our nation plays. Whenever there is a void, the world pays a price. We need Mike Pompeo at the State Department and we need him now. It is my fervent hope that this committee and the full Senate will proceed with a swift confirmation for the President's nominee. I know that Mike Pompeo will serve us proudly. It is now a privilege and an honor to turn to my mentor, my friend and recent Congressional Gold Medal recipient, Senator Bob Dole.